Did you know that a gingerbread man once sold 21 Pilots Thunder? Or that Josh was not allowed to listen to Green Day as a kid? We'll tell you all about it. But first, let's check out how this musical duo became one of the hottest new bands around. In only a few years, Tyler Joseph and Josh Dunn have gone from a local Columbus buzz band to international stars. They've sold out shows, gotten millions of YouTube views, and have had multiple top 10 singles, including the smash hit Stressed Out. And they're just getting started. Hi, I'm San Yi, and we're here to check out the real faces behind Blurry Face. So get ready for a backflipping jam sesh, because Mic Drop is counting down 107 music facts about 21 pilots. Let's get started! Fact number one. College friends Tyler Joseph, Nick Thomas, and Chris Solly formed 21 pilots in 2009 in Columbus, Ohio, where they grew up. Fact number two, Nick and Chris later left in 2011 because they could not dedicate time to the band and drummer Josh Dunn joined, making it a duo. Fact number three, Tyler Joseph is the band's leader. He was born on December 1st, 1988. He has two brothers, Jay and Zach, and one sister named Madison. Fact number four, both of Tyler's parents worked in education. His mother was a teacher and basketball coach. His father was a coach and principal at Worthington High School. Fact number five, as a teen, Tyler's life was forever altered after seeing a songwriter perform at a local club. He started toying around with a keyboard that he received as a Christmas gift and making demos with recording software his parents bought. Fact number six, he learned the keyboard by playing along with records by the Beatles and singer Dion. Fact number seven, Tyler was also an athlete growing up. He played point guard for Worthington Christian High School and led his team to a second place finish in the 2008 Division IV State Tournament. Fact number eight. As much as Tyler enjoyed sports, his passion for music caused him to deny a college sports scholarship in favor of a music career. Fact number nine. He started performing solo while taking a few classes at Ohio State University. Shortly after, he put together a band with his buddies, Nick Thomas and Chris Sully. Fact number 10. Searching for a name for his new band, Tyler was inspired by his studies. The name 21 Pilots was inspired by Arthur Miller's 1947 play, All My Sons. In the play, a character knowingly supplies defective airplane parts to 21 World War II airmen, causing them to perish. Fact number 11. Tyler says that the reference applies to the band because he identifies with the character who had to make a decision of whether to send out the parts and make money for his family or refuse to sell the faulty parts and save the pilots. He likens that moral choice to his struggle as an artist to make clear choices in his music. Fact number 12. The original band self-released the album 21 Pilots in 2009. The record was not very successful, but it introduced several staples of 21 Pilots music, including Tyler's emotional rapping over instrumental bits that ranged from lush piano riffs to aggressive beats. Fact number 13. Fuse TV compared them to bands like Panic at the Disco, Owl City, and My Chemical Romance. Not too shabby. Fact number 14. In 2011, Nick Thomas posted a goodbye message to fans on Facebook, revealing that he loved 21 Pilots, but he wanted to return to college and begin a career of his own. Fact number 15. Chris Lee also announced his departure, but he cited financial obligations and personal responsibilities as the reasons. He then revealed that Josh Dunn would be replacing him as the band's new drummer. Fact number 16. Joshua William Dunn was born on June 18, 1988 in Columbus, Ohio. He has two sisters, Ashley and Abigail, and a brother named Jordan. Fact number 17. Josh taught himself to play the drums without any formal training. Impressive! Fact number 18. For most of their elementary years, both Tyler and Josh were homeschooled. They credit that experience for making them open-minded and curious about different musical styles. Without having to fit into certain social groups, they were free to explore a variety of interests. Fact number 19. Josh grew up in a very strict environment. He was not allowed to listen to music as a kid, so he rebelled by skating down to a local record store and asking for music recommendations from the most tattooed dude there. As a result, he was introduced to punk, rock, hip-hop, and all sorts of genres, and it inspired him to become a musician himself. Fact number 20. 
Josh used to hide his favorite albums like Green Day's Dookie under his bed. His household was so conservative that his parents used to search his room for offensive material. When they came across albums like Dookie, they found Christian alternatives like the band Reliant K and forced Josh to listen to them instead. Fact number 21. The only movies allowed in Josh's house were those made by Clean Flicks. The Christian company took Hollywood movies and edited out any cursing, sex, and violence. Fact number 22. Things got so strict at home that Josh was almost sent to military school. But his parents eventually lightened up, letting him buy a drum kit and assemble it in the family basement. Fact number 23. Instead of going to college, Josh chose to move in with some friends and get a job at the drum department of Guitar Center. Follow that dream. Fact number 24. Tyler and Josh were acquaintances in school and would see each other around Columbus. But they didn't become close until Tyler was performing with his original band. Josh was a huge fan of the group and admired Tyler's performance style. Fact number 25. When Tyler and Josh finally teamed up as a duo, they made a name for themselves in Ohio by going door to door to deliver tickets to their club shows. Fact number 26. Soon, that approach became unmanageable. So instead, they would meet with fans one on one at a Chick fil A in a local food court. Fact number 27. Tyler's mom even got in on the action. She stood outside of clubs and sold 21 pilots tickets to students passing by. Fact number 28. Tyler and Josh slept in their van when they first started touring. Then the first time they finally stayed in a hotel, they commemorated the moment by inventing a secret handshake. That handshake can be seen in the music video for Stressed Out. Fact number 29. Another common image found in their videos is a microphone hanging above the band. It started as a way to free up Tyler's hands so he could play an instrument while singing, and then it became a theme at live shows. He wanted fans to have something recognizable in both videos and at concerts. Fact number 30. Another memorable 21 Pilots moment was Josh Dunn backflipping off a piano. The duo is known for crazy show antics like climbing things and doing lovely flips like these. Fact number 31. The first album featuring the duo of Tyler Joseph and Josh Dunn was regional at best, which surfaced in 2011. Fact number 32. Regional at best is more experimental than the first record, with a very electronic-centered sound, but Tyler's hyped-up rapping style is still heavily present. Critics praised the album for a film score-like quality. Fact number 33. 21 Pilots' popularity started to take off when the band teamed up with creative director Mark C. Eshelman. The music videos he directed for Car Radio and Guns for Hands racked up about 5 million views on YouTube in 2013. Fact number 34. Mark started working with Tyler and Josh in 2010. He was working with a t-shirt company that sponsored 21 Pilots, and he started filming them for promotional purposes. Fact number 35. Some of Mark's biggest movie influences growing up were Terminator, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and The Princess Bride. He also loves any movie featuring Ryan Gosling. But who doesn't? Fact number 36. Mark's dream project is directing a video for the band Paramore. He currently has his own production company called Real Bear Media. Fact number 37. Despite a lack of chart success, the band's music videos were strong enough to earn them a record contract with Fueled by Ramen, a subsidiary of Atlantic Records. It was originally founded in Gainesville, Florida, but now has its headquarters in New York City. Fact number 38. Founded in 1996, Fueled by Ramen considers itself more of a lifestyle brand than a record label. It has some of the most popular punk-inspired pop rock bands on its roster, including Fun, Panic at the Disco, and Young the Giant. Some former clients include Fall Out Boy, Cute is What We Aim For, and Jimmy Eat World. Fact number 39. Backed by a new label, Tyler and Josh recorded an EP called Three Songs and again tried to evolve their sound. In 2013, they teamed up with producer Greg Wells, who's worked with Adele and Katy Perry. Together, they crafted the LP Vessel, which finally put them on the map. Fact number 40. Tyler and Josh admitted to following Katy Perry on Twitter and using the band's money to buy tickets for her documentary Part of Me while they were out on tour. Who knew 21 Pilots were Katy Cats? Fact number 41. Vessel earned 21 Pilots their first gold and platinum certification for their single, Holding On To You. Fact number 42. House of Gold and Car Radio from that record reached the same status over the next two years. Fact number 43. 
The two older gentlemen on the Vessel album cover are Tyler and Josh's paternal grandfathers. They were a significant part of the boys' youth. Fact number 44. Two other important parts of Josh's younger years were the Olsen twins. He remembers crying when he realized that he would never get to be with Mary-Kate or Ashley. Now that's a diehard fan. Fact number 45. The boys of 21 Pilots like to have fun and look at the lighter side of life, but their lyrics do not shy away from serious issues. The Vessel album track, Guns for Hands, was inspired by a conversation Tyler had with a few fans about their struggles with suicide. Fact number 46. Josh sees his role as a musician to be one of responsibility. He believes in being a good role model for his fans so he can earn their loyalty. Fact number 47. They also stand up for their fans. At one concert, they saw a male fan punch a female fan, so they immediately made sure he was kicked out of the show. They look out for their own. Time for the lightning round. Clearly, 21 Pilots is extremely hardworking, but what do they do for fun? Let's check out some of their favorite activities. Fact number 48, eating at Chipotle. Tyler goes back and forth between bowls and burritos with both chicken and sofritas. Josh, on the other hand, is down for tacos with chicken and steak. That's some next level stuff right there. Fact number 49, playing video games. Their favorites are Super Smash Bros. Melee, Mario Kart 64, Zelda, Metal Gear Solid, the wrestling game WCW vs. NWO, and all the classic Super Nintendo games. Of course, who doesn't love the classics? Fact number 50, dyeing Josh's hair. Josh takes pride in dyeing his own hair in all different colors. He uses Splat brand product because it's only about $12 per box, creative and thrifty. Fact number 51, listening to music. They also love to kick back and listen to tunes, including DJs like Skrillex and Diplo, alternative rock bands like Death Cab for Cutie and Iceland Seeger Ross. Fact number 52, answering theoretical questions about ducks. Yep. That's right, ducks. Journalist Robert Crane asked them, would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? Josh promptly replied that he and Tyler put a lot of thought into the question. Tyler would fight a hundred duck-sized horses because he could knock them out of the way easier, but Josh would just feed the horse-sized duck a piece of bread to get out of Dodge. Everyone should have a plan for the day they have to fight a mutant duck or horse. Fact number 53. Avoiding fanfiction. You might think that artists would be interested in fanfiction about themselves, but Tyler and Josh never read any, fearing that it might alter their friendship in some way. The website Archive of Our Own has pieces that range from Josh discovering he's a werewolf to the boys becoming Pokemon characters. The predominant theme throughout many of the stories is a love affair between Tyler and Josh. No wonder they don't read it. Fact number 54, introducing Tyler's mom to Will Ferrell. That's right, she's a huge fan and she texted Tyler before their performance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon and asked him to arrange a meeting with Will Ferrell. Now, he was on her short list of famous people to meet, along with Ellen DeGeneres, Barbara Streisand, and Tom Jones. Unfortunately, they only shared a quick hello that night, but hey, we count that as meeting. Fact number 55, riding in crazy vehicles. 21 pilots toured the U.S. in a bandwagon RV in 2012. It looked like a semi-truck with a big box on it. During the long stretches of driving, they pulled over and dumped bathroom waste on the side of the road. Kids, don't try that at home. Fact number 56, riding hoverboards. Right before hitting the Tonight Show stage, Tyler and Josh were given hoverboards as a gift. But things took a dark turn a week later when Josh let his mom take a spin. She fell off and broke her wrist, winding up in the ER. The hoverboard was never allowed in their home again. Fact number 57, bringing Tyler's wife Jenna on tour. Tyler was committed to bringing her along during their first year of marriage. He recognized the importance of establishing a secure foundation and wanted to make sure theirs was solid. Ah, what a good hubby. That's the end of the lightning round. Which one of these activities would you enjoy most? Comment below and let us know. And now back to the facts. Fact number 58. While 21 pilots are grateful for all their success, they did reveal that they enjoyed playing their previous smaller venues because they could interact with fans on a more intimate level. Fact number 59. Because they cherish that intimate relationship with fans, Tyler and Josh value unexpected moments like bumping into a fan in the bathroom. Tyler usually thanks them for liking 21 Pilots and then goes about his business. 
fact number 60. As for the future of the band, they're open to even more experimentation. Tyler is leaving the option open of having Josh rap on a track one day, and Josh has been practicing hardcore for his moment in the spotlight. Fact number 61. They're also willing to add touring musicians eventually. When Josh first joined the band, Nick Thomas stuck around to play a few Ohio gigs with 21 Pilots as a trio. When Nick left, Tyler and Josh had to use pre-recorded tapes in their live concerts to flesh out the songs. Having other musicians would make it easier to play their songs live. Fact number 62. Their good friendship and creative relationship means that Tyler has no interest in going out on his own. But before 21 Pilots took off, he recorded a low-budget solo album called No Fun Intended. That's fun with a PH. Guess it was a pretty hot record? Fact number 63. No Fun Intended was made in Tyler's basement when he was a senior in high school. Always the hard worker. Fact number 64. The guys are pretty private, but rumors about their relationships have hit the press. It was reported that Josh was dating singer-songwriter Halsey, but Josh claims they were never romantic, just friends. Guess we'll never know. Fact number 65. Tyler, on the other hand, is married to Jenna Black. She was the sister-in-law of a friend Tyler knew in school. Fact number 66. The boys recorded some cover songs that have become fan favorites. These include Jar of Hearts by Christina Perry, Can't Help Falling in Love, made famous by Elvis Presley, and the Tears for Fears classic Mad World. Fact number 67. In addition to three songs, the band has released other EPs, including Holding On To You and Quiet Is Violent. Fact number 68. Quiet is Violent was only released in Australia and is a mix of live tracks and remixes. Fact number 69. 21 Pilots finally broke through into the mainstream with their fourth record, Blurry Face. It released in 2015 and rose to number one on the Billboard 200 album chart. Fact number 70. Unlike Vessel, which was recorded with one producer, Blurry Face's diverse sound came from multiple producers like Tim Anderson, who also worked with Halsey, and Kate Pearson of the B-52s. Fact number 71. Producer Ricky Reed was known for his work with Fifth Harmony, Jason Derulo, and Mary Lambert. And after producing 21 Pilots, Reed went on to work with Fitz and the Tantrums. Fact number 72. Before 21 Pilots, Mike Crossy worked with the Gaslight Anthem, the 1975, and Two Door Cinema Club. Fact number 73. 21 Pilots track Fairly Local hit number 84 on Billboard's Hot 100. It was their first single to chart in the U.S. Fact number 74. Tear in My Heart and Ride both passed that position. Ride climbed all the way to number 10. 21 making the top 10. Woo! Fact number 75. Ironically, it was Stressed Out that made 21 Pilots megastars. It hit the top 10 on the Hot 100 and Digital Songs chart. It also topped Billboard's Hot Rock Songs chart and led the Alternative Songs Airplay chart for over nine weeks. It even crossed over onto the Pop and Adult Pop charts. That's a lot of charts. Fact number 76, Stressed Out received gold and platinum certifications in 2016, and the song's music video has over 473 million views on YouTube. Fact number 77, much of Blurry Face's success has to do with the interesting creative process 21 Pilots used to develop the record. Tyler created the character of Blurry Face as a way to deal with his own insecurities. Fact number 78. A good portion of the album was recorded on the road, and the songs were inspired by the band's live shows. Fact number 79. Blurry Face is a concept album in which Tyler gives physical manifestation to his complicated feelings about his appearance and how those feelings impact the way he lives. Stepping out of himself allowed Tyler to analyze and understand his own behavior. That's deep. Fact number 80. The writing process was also a way for Tyler and Josh to stay true to their artistic vision. After the popularity of Vessel, there were a lot of expectations placed on them by fans and record company executives to do something even bigger. But the boys didn't let the pressure get to them. The only measure they used for the songs was whether they themselves were happy with the music. Keeping it real. Fact number 81. Tyler revealed that the complicated psychology behind the music was reflected on the album cover. He didn't mention specifics, but he did say that every detail was placed there to mirror the album's content. 
Fact number 82. Tyler also really got to know the blurry face character. He decided that the color blue did not exist in the character's world and that red spoke to who he was. As a result, Tyler wore a red wristband to represent blurry face. Fact number 83. Josh's favorite songs on the album are The Judge and Lane Boy. Tyler said his favorite song to play live was Lane Boy, while his favorite song to listen to was Goner. Well, we like them all. Fact number 84. Even though Tyler had such a personal relationship with Blurry Face, he had no plans to keep the character alive after the tour. His practice of smearing black makeup all over his neck and hands at each show was not easy, physically or emotionally. The makeup symbolized the feelings of suffocation that Tyler was dealing with through the character. After that cleansing experience, Tyler now looks forward to inventing new characters to represent new musical ideas. Fact number 85. Josh said his favorite part of the record's success was seeing people's confused faces when they heard 21 Pilots hit number one. Always nice to prove you belong. Fact number 86. In support of the album, 21 Pilots embarked on the Emotional Roadshow World Tour. It is the band's biggest tour to date and is taking them across the US, the UK, Canada, Mexico, Russia, Finland, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Germany, Poland, the Czech Republic, Austria, Italy, the Netherlands, Belgium, France, New Zealand, and Australia. Oh, is that all? Fact number 87. New merchandise was made specifically for the tour, including t-shirts, flags, posters, and a limited edition 21 Pilots ukulele. Fact number 88. Chef Special from the Netherlands was chosen as the tour's opening act. Their reggae meets hip hop influence is similar to that of 21 Pilots. Do I hear a bromance starting? The New Orleans band Mute Math were also selected to play on the tour. What a lineup! Fact number 89, reggae has become more prevalent in 21 Pilot music. Josh credits legends like Steel Pulse for helping him develop a deep interest in the music. Fact number 90, massive indoor stage productions were created for the shows, including individual displays for each song, large screen projections, and disco balls. Fact number 91, the set list was designed to include songs that span the band's entire career. Tyler and Josh also include some fun covers, like Justin Bieber's Love Yourself. Fact number 92, if you think doing backflips off a piano was wild, Tyler climbed into a giant hamster ball on this tour and walked on top of the crowd. Now, that's entertainment. Fact number 93, that was actually pretty tame compared to 21 Pilots' performance at the BBC Radio 1's Big Weekend Music Festival. At this show, Tyler climbed up the stage, which BBC Radio said was a safety risk, and they had to cut the sound to get him down. Unfortunately, the band did not get to finish out their performance. Fact number 94, at another concert in Ottawa, vibrations from the stands caused damage similar to a low magnitude earthquake. Damn. The building shook so much that the ceiling started to collapse, with speakers and ceiling tiles falling to the ground. Now that's rock and roll. Fact number 95. 21 Pilots contributed the song Heathens to the Suicide Squad soundtrack. The film is the third in the DC Comics Extended Universe series, with Will Smith and Margot Robbie as leads. Fact number 96. Also on the soundtrack are Creedence Clearwater Revival, Eminem, Skrillex, Rick Ross, Imagine Dragons, and Lil Wayne. Looks like 21 Pilots is up there with the megastars. Fact number 97. Tyler and Josh both also admit to being obsessed with waffle crisp cereal because they weren't allowed to have sugary cereals as kids. Is that why they like to climb things? Fact number 98. The band has taken to affectionately calling their fans the Skeleton Click. Sounds badass. Fact number 99. Tyler says that one of the things he's learned since beginning 21 Pilots is how easily a misunderstood message can be formed in lyrics. He is careful not to force rhymes because that alters the meaning of a song. He spends a lot of time choosing every word carefully. Fact number 100. They attribute their connection with fans to a shared emotional experience from music. To Tyler, it is this relationship with music that enables a safe space for letting out positive and negative feelings as a way to grow. Fact number 101. Tyler and Josh have been approached multiple times about handwriting lyrics onto pieces of paper so fans can then get those lyrics tattooed on their bodies. Tyler admits that he usually has Josh write the words down because Josh has better penmanship. Fact number 102. Josh is determined to stay down to earth despite 21 Pilot's achievements. One way he does that is by making his house available on Airbnb when he's out on the road. Fact number 103. 
21 pilots have been on a skyrocketing rise in a relatively short period. But Josh doesn't believe in one form of success. He considers success something that keeps evolving throughout a career. Seriously, these guys are super wise. Fact number 104. But if Tyler had to choose one measurement of success that made the rest valuable, he says that having even the smallest impact on someone's life is all he could ask for. Can he be my guru? Fact number 105. Tyler's favorite concert moment was at one show where the entire audience stopped paying attention to them because they were all looking at a guy in a gingerbread man costume as he crowd surfed. Funny and flattering. Gingerbread is a fan. Fact number 106. Josh's favorite concert moment was at one show where Tyler jumped over his piano and accidentally knocked it over. Fact number 107. It's always an awkward moment for the band when a fan runs into them but only recognizes Josh and not Tyler. It's happened a few times and Josh always feels really bad for his bandmate, but I'm sure Mr. Blurryface has plenty of fans. Once again, I'm San Yi, and you just finished watching Mike Drop's 107 Music Facts about 21 Pilots. Did you guys enjoy these facts? Make sure to subscribe because we're bringing you more facts about your favorite musicians every week. Let us know which artists we should find facts about, and I'll see you next week.